Hi there, Sagittarius. Ooh, I'm kind of starting like without all my crap together and ready here. So maybe that's you. Maybe you've been really unprepared for some things that have been going on in your life lately, Sagittarius. But we're going to see what's coming for you for the next three months. The next three months. Okay, this is a timeless read, but please keep in mind, we're trying to do futuristic, but it could pertain to your past, your present, or this potential near future, or Sagittarius. Make sure you pay attention to your moon, your sun, and your rising, all of them also, so you can get a bigger picture, okay? And you can find out your sun sign is Sagittarius, probably, if you're watching this, and then your moon and rising signs can be found within your birth chart. And you just need to know you, the exact time you were born and, of course, the place you were born, okay? And then you can acquire that online for free, okay? Ooh, look. We've got relationship change. Surrender and follow your dreams. So you could have been surrendering a relationship, like walking away, you know, um, toxic situations, negative cycles happening. What's on the bottom of the deck? Love partnership, okay? Some of you are surrendering a, a career to follow your dreams and what something that you're trying to manifest. So this is love and money definitely for a lot of you guys. Um, some of you are surrendering the idea around needing companionship always. Maybe you're deciding I'm okay being alone for a little while. Like I don't have to have someone constantly there. Maybe you're really enjoying single, you know, solitude life. And then for others, maybe you're like, you know, realizing that your relationship with money is changing and it's really, um, you know, fear-based illusion that we were taught that we had to hold on to that nine to five. So maybe when you're one of those lucky people who already know that the universe, you know, or God, Jesus, whomever, financial discipline now on the bottom, but um, maybe, and also surrendering something about your health, okay, but... You, you've always had faith like yeah everything always comes through in divine timing whenever I need it and whenever I'm ready for it if I need money to pay this bill it'll come through I already always know you know something always ends up working out for you in the betterment in the long run but there's something there's a creative passion an endeavor that's going could prove to be financially accommodating for you that's really in your heart's true desires relationship change can we get more exchanging gifts so it's about give and take in the relationship category for those who are in union with someone right now right um you could be like literally exchanging gifts like presents you know you could, somebody could have gotten you a cat as well, or an animal. To the sea, like, yeah, you're surrendering stuff over. She's in a bathtub, so you might do a lot of your releasing while you're in the bathtub. Um, <laughs> the bubble here, and I mentioned bathtub, it was like farting in the bathtub. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, geez, geez, we're, um, our inner childs are raunchy, aren't they? But, um, to the sea, sending something to the sea, letting it go, okay? And there's a fork in the road on following your dreams so right now you might know what that you want to do something but right now you might feel really lost and confused discombobulated king julian's coming in here from what's that movie oh look loyal heart under manifestation someone is manifesting true love into their life though you single pringles out there that's what's happening for you look uh, time to go under this other relationship change. So there's a situation or person you know you're needing to walk away from, okay? And this is going to be help you. Surrendering this situation is going to bring you great joy because you're finally going to be able to nurture and love yourself, okay? And don't feel like you're leaving people behind when you're following this path, whether it's towards this situation here or if it's towards, you know, um, um, a community, like-minded groups, you know, maybe you're wanting to start a new life, start over somewhere, don't feel like you're, you know, with time, time heals all wounds, right? So don't let anybody guilt trip you into staying, okay? Whatever the situation is, don't let them guilt trip you into staying, okay? We've got community and new life over here, though, under manifestation as well. I just don't have room here. Uh, I 
got the minions in the background as playful energy letting our inner child come out and play. Co-creating with the universe though. Balancing your masculine energy. Oof, that was really strong here, guys. Let's see what else. Move your body. Thank you, angels, for motivating me. Motivating me. I can't talk. To move my body and energy. So, again, they're talking about moving, but also you might feel like this insatiable urge to just j jump up and maybe go do some laps or start physical activity training, weight training, or even like yoga or ballet or exercising, stretching, something, 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 something. Okay, so this is a message from your current person, those who are in union or talking with somebody right now who's kind of interested. I've never felt this way about anyone before. I'm still processing. They're still processing the fact that they met you, their wonderful counterpart, okay? And there's more than meets the eye to this person, okay? You might feel like they're very mysterious and for others who had to leave a situation or those you felt like you left behind um, that you let maybe feel like you turned your back on and walked away from, they're not mad, okay? And for others who are trying to leave a situation, they're not going, it's not going to hurt them as bad as you think they will or as bad as they're saying they will, okay? But the, there's a need for you to stay on the course and stay focused towards this, what you're wanting to go towards, okay? And then there's a situation, those who are needing to leave the situation, leave me alone, get out, yeah. Go ahead and take your the clothes on your back and just go. Within a year for somebody on a time frame, I want to cut the deck and there's a situation, stop manipulating. Okay, for this here for somebody, this is telling me this is for someone who frequents tarot reads, you're scrolling apps and everything looking for the answers that you want to hear. You're disregarding some messages that you don't that you need to hear you're disregarding the stuff that's the truth and you're just looking for the answer that you're looking for and they're saying stop manipulating because it's not going to change anything okay the need to find your joy again all right angel messages for sagittarius that came out really fast for some of you there's a sense to just focus on family right now whether you have kids or younger siblings are you still in you know, you know with your parents and everything there's this focus to focus on your community around you you have a bond with children in particular you can help children who are sensitive so yeah children with psychic gifts spiritual abilities okay there's victory as you stay on course and stay focused your prayers have been heard and answered have faith this is going over this also Archangel Michael with Lady Faith Lady Faith is his uh, twin flame. So you, I feel like this loyal heart is your twin flame that's coming towards you. And you have clairvoyance. I'm here helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. And how funny is the manifestation card? Pink. So, and all is well. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings you will soon understand. So they're directing me to stop for a moment. This might be a situation around someone who maybe you found a honey and they had a child or children and you felt really connected to them but you and this adult relationship just isn't working but you're not wanting to feel like you're abandoning those kids because you grew attached to them. Does that make sense to somebody? Justice will be served in a situation but let me get... They'll be okay. I just pulled the yang, yang card and that's masculine. So they're going to be okay. Okay. There's a deep emotional healing that you're going to be going through though. And this, this awakening that you've realized and why you need to uh, surrender the relationship or the idea of this relationship is that your heart is ready to heal from past experiences. You are willing to devote time and energy towards therapeutic care. So there's this full on sense of you needing to nurture and yourself back to health and heal from even previous relationships that were happening before this. 
Your life purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. So this is telling me like maybe your dreams and your heart desires is uh, career wise is towards something spiritual based. <laughs> your knight in shining armor. Something is being illuminated for you though. There's new ideas coming in to you. Yep, new ideas, clarity. Mm -hmm. And what shadow are you working through? Revenge. You're working out of revenge, not wanting to seek revenge on those who who you're healing from, wishing them luck, joy, prosperity all the way around, okay? I know they did you dirty. They weren't the person that they said they were. A lot of lies, a lot of manipulations. It caused you to become fragmented. It fragmented your soul. What is that situation here? Illusions. They caused a lot of illusions within you. Actually, also astral projecting and astral travel <clears throat> and astral work is coming out here. But also you could be picking up on the collective consciousness with this revenge, getting angry and deceit or uh, vindictive, reaping what you sow. So again, um, I had the justice card here too. So whatever happened here, whatever lies that were put upon you or said about you or said to you, this is, this is coming into balance for these people, okay? Fairness and balance, oh my gosh. And you're coming into balance as well in the next three months, Sagittarius. Let's see. Friendships. New friendships coming in for you. More confidence within yourself. Yes, Sagittarius. I love it. And you're going to be more driven towards your life purpose. Oh my gosh. And we had this down here. Follow your dreams for your life purpose. Stay on the course and stay focused, okay? And if you're having a hard time knowing which way to go, there might be a need to just stop and pause for a little bit because you do have time, okay? Trust in your talents. Trust in yourself. This passion is real, and if it's not ignited yet, it will be, okay? And this is leading you to complete financial and emotional freedom, okay? There's a lot of good luck coming your way, and you're protected in this journey as you seek out, okay? Transformation. Commitment. That is all I have for you, Sagittarius. Love and light.